Hello everyone, I'm Ben Jammer from Jammer Studios and I hope you're all having a good day. In today's video, we'll be actually talking about the Camera 2D. In one of my most recent videos, I did have a commenter comment saying, Hey, can you help me out creating a camera kind of like uh, these other 2D top-down games that we've seen out there, like Clash of Clans, things like that. How can I scroll around like pan around with the camera by uh using touch screen uh, i unfortunately cannot do touch screen but i can however mimic uh what it's like so whenever we press and hold the mouse the camera will start to move around and whenever we uh, can zoom in and out by the mouse wheels and so this will basically be how it uh, works what we're going to do is we're going to have the game be paused and we're going to show that it is paused when you press M, M for map, so you can look around, theoretically. Now, I have not actually used this sort of method with a camera limp before, so I'm very curious to see what happens, and I'm, very, I'm really hoping that it goes a certain way. So let's just start it off here. We have our camera 2D in our main scene, as a child of the player. What we we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go and click camera 2D and add in our script for it. That's good right there. And let's delete all of this. So we're gonna need a couple variables. We're gonna need var zoom. So this is our current zoom. Uh, actually, hold on, no, no, no. I do not need this variable anymore as uh, we are a camera 2D and zoom is already a, var a variable in camera 2D. So we're going to create var target zoom. So this is what we're going to be uh, multiplying. This is thing is going to go up and down based on if we're zooming in or out. And it's going to be a float. Then we're going and creating more variables. So this is the minimum, oh, minimum zoom, also a float. Uh, the minimum is going to be about, let's say, 0.1 for now. Let's just say that for now. Then we're going to have var max zoom. This one's going to be a float, and it's going to be 1.0. We also don't want these to be vars. We actually want these to be constants because they will not change in our code, and we do not want them to change in our code. So if we make a mistake and we actually change this in our code, uh, the system will register that and it will output an error. So we are going to then make a zoom increment. increment. So this will also be a float. And this will uh, kind of be the markers that our zoom is going to be hitting. So it's going to hit every 0.1. Then the next and last variable is going to be the zoom rate. And this is going to be how fast it hits each increment. It will also be a float, and it will equal 8. Then our first function we're going to have here is going to be a function unhandled input. This input is it's going to be an input event. So it will also go to, wait. this is just another kind of style to writing C++. If you guys are interested, I can also show you a little bit, uh, a little styles here and there, some styles. But in this first one, we're going to go if event is input event mouse motion. Uh, there should not be spaces in those. I didn't realize. Uh, event mouse. Nope. That is very. Oh my god! I want to. I want to hit space every single time. So this is event mouse motion. So this is every single time our mouse is going to be moving around. This will detect the that event. So now our mouse is moving around. We actually want it to be able to click and drag. So now we have the drag. We just need the so then we're going to need to do if 
event dot button mask equals button mask middle. So now we are holding the, the middle mouse button and we are dragging it like this. We want to set the position minus equal the event dot relative times the zoom. So we're going to take the camera position and we are going to subtract it to the relative position of the event multiplied by the zoom. So if it's further out, we're going to make uh, much smaller. No, no, it would be much bigger, much bigger kind of motions. And if it's uh, bigger, then we're going to have smaller kind of motions. That's what that would be all about. So now we have that moving. The next thing we are going to need to do is go down out of this and say if event dot is pressed. I need that there. Then if event dot button index index equals button wheel up. This is going to be our zooming in and out. So button wheel up. This is going to be zooming in and out. So for the first one for up, this is going to be zoom in. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. Event. Except this is going to be wheel down. So event dot button index equals button wheel down zoom out and there we go now we do not have functions for this yet but we will make them right now so func zoom in so we're going to zoom in and this is going to go to void so we're zooming in, that's going to be the target zoom equals max target zoom minus zoom increment comma minimum zoom. Then we are going to set the physics process. To true. So up here, we then will drag. This is how we drag and move the mouse or move the camera around. That's what's happening here. And then we're going to actually <clears throat> we're going to zoom in and out based on if we scroll up on the wheel or down on the wheel. And then we're going to try and find the target zoom. So where are we zooming in at? Because this is the minimum zoom. Oh, I'm sorry uh, about that. If you can hear the dog in the background, he is, he's a barker. <laughs> we have a minimum zoom based on the zoom increment and where we were at before. And then we want to make sure that we run this instead. And we're going to do the exact same thing, but for zoom out, which will be void and target zoom will equal the minimum target zoom plus the zoom increment since we are trying to add it so we're trying to zoom out to go to the max zoom and then we will also set the physics process to true so it runs this segment of code then last but not least we are going to put the next bit up here the func, this is going to be the physics process. And we do want delta. So since we want delta, we're just going to have that be a float. And we're going to create zoom. Zoom equals the lerp of the zoom itself, the target zoom multiplied by vector. 
comma zoom rate times delta times delta and then we want to set the physics process again set the physics process again but to not is equal approximate to the zoom dot x comma target zoom and so this will uh, this will move the actual zoom of the camera around to try and match where the where we want to be at and that's what the physics process is all about that would be it for this now uh, I believe that this will start working so we just start playing oh, 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 I, gotta, I gotta run so we can test this out we should start to be playing okay yes I can see that this is not working but I honestly have no idea if it even is working so we kind of want to just hit print hello world maybe, that, it's, maybe it's working after that who knows interesting 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 it should be working I'm handle the input event. Maybe it's just an input event. Maybe we just do that. Let's just try that. Just make it an input event. Not an unhandled input event. Alright. Ah, there we go. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can pan around a little bit. So we can do that, but and then then we then it's just gonna start following us. But for some reason we cannot scroll it. So we know that the middle mouse actually works, but this does not. I think that we need to actually push this out or push it down, I should say, one so that it's out of the event mouse motion because we don't need the mouse to actually be moving, we just need it to go up and down. So let's quickly. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. So we actually. <laughs> If event is input, input, event, mouse, button, and event is pressed, there we go. Now it should work. Jump, there we go. Jump out of the way. There, we can jump out of the way, and there we go. We can now zoom in and out freely, just like that. And that's how you can do it. So this is the entire block of code that you're going to need to zoom the camera in and out. And also, um, and also drag the camera around. I will also update this later to be more of like a pause kind of thing. So when you hit M, uh, it will show that the screen is paused and everything will freeze and you can move the camera freely around. Uh, you can zoom in and out. But once you press M again, the camera will then go right back to the player centered uh, with the same zoom that it started out as uh, with the player in the center. That is the future of it. And that's where I will be taking it next. So if you like today's video, please like it down below. If you like the content that I'd be posting, then think about subscribing to the channel. 
And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down below in the comments section. Without further ado, this has been Ben Jammer from Jammer Studios, and I hope you're all having a good day. See ya.